Well, everyone, iOS 16.2 has just officially come out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone SE 2 and see if it's still worth installing or if you should wait or whatnot. Now, the very first thing I'd recommend telling you is that this is definitely an update worth installing. I've been rocking the betas, and now I'm on basically the official version, the RC version of this on the official version. And I can definitely tell you this is a big update with a lot of cool updates and a lot of bug improvements and fixes as well. Now, one of the biggest things that this specific application ended up bringing or this update brought is a new freeform application. So for some reason, I think it's missing on my phone. I don't know if I deleted it or not, but essentially with this update, you are now getting this freeform app, which allows you to go ahead and basically, you know, kind of do this whiteboarding activity somewhat on your device. I've demonstrated it on my other devices too, but this is a really cool update that I'm really happy about by them implementing that specific feature. Now, on top of that, we did get some new advanced, I guess, data protection on our phone too now. So if you're on iOS 16.2 or newer, you now have the ability of basically enabling end-to-end -end encryption on iMessages, on backups, photos, notes, so many different things like that. So that is another really cool thing as well for getting end-to-end -end encryption on your message backups and whatnot. On top of that, our lock screen got a little bit of an improvement too. So now we have the ability of basically adding two new widgets to our lock screen. These are the sleep widget and the medications widget as well. So if you're somebody who wanted to go ahead and basically implement those and use those now, you have that activity, which I think in and of itself is really, really cool. On top of that, there's just so many things. Live activities got a little bit of an update. And AirDrop, out of all things, has this new feature where basically you can only share your everyone status for up to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it basically goes down to just you know context only. And if you want anyone to share you anything, which I think is kind of weird. I mean, like I think it was fine exactly where it was before, but you know, there's not really too much we can do about it. So ultimately what I'll tell you is if you want to install iOS 16.2 on your iPhone SE 2. I'll say this is probably a good time to consider it. If you're already on iOS 16, then by all means, go ahead and update to iOS 16.2. But if you're not already on iOS 16.2, or if you're not even on iOS 16, I would also probably start recommending to update to iOS 16 sometime soon. So make sure you do backups and everything, and then go ahead and update your phone whenever you're ready. But I think this is a decent time to consider to, you know, probably start updating sooner than later. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.